So today I'm talking about a P2098 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P2098 code? Well, it's a post catalyst fuel trim system to lean bank two. And what does this mean? Well, there's sensors that are located on the exhaust and they do two things. The first thing they do is they monitor the catalytic converter. And then the second thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And they report this information back to the computer which uses it to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders. And for some reason, these sensors are reporting back to the computer that there's a lean condition, which basically means there's more air than gas going into the cylinders, that the air fuel ratio mixture is wrong. In V6 and V8 engines, they have two banks. Bank one is always inside of the engine with the number one cylinder. And then the opposite of that would be bank two. So if you find the number one cylinder on your engine, that's going to be bank one. And then the opposite of that would be bank two. And this is the side of the engine that's having the problems. If you have a four cylinder engine, it wouldn't matter. You'd only have one bank. And one thing about a P2098 code is that sometimes these can be kind of difficult to troubleshoot because it can be caused by many different things. And if you're getting other codes, this can help point you to what the problem is. So for example, if you also get like a mass airflow sensor code or a MAF sensor, then you would go look at that first. But basically, be sure to pay attention to any other code you're getting. And so what would be some possible causes of a P2098 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is a bad O2 sensor. One of those sensors might have failed or something gone wrong with it. Also keep in mind that the wiring going to it, if there's anything wrong with that, open, short, bad connection, that's going to cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. It can't be a good idea to get a diagram where all the sensors are located on your particular vehicle. It could just make things easier. For example, here's a 2007 Camry with a 3.5 liter V6. And bank two is on this side. And you're going to have sensor one, also called the upstream oxygen sensor, which is going to be located before the catalytic converter. And then you're going to have sensor two, also called the downstream oxygen sensor, which is going to be located after the catalytic converter and sometimes right on it. But the first thing that could cause this is a bad O2 sensor. The next thing that could cause this is that there is some kind of lean running condition going on on bank two side of the engine. And basically when you have a lean condition, you have too much air going in compared to the fuel ratio mixture that's supposed to be going into those cylinders. And this would be something like a vacuum leak or a bad manifold absolute pressure sensor or a bad mass airflow sensor or something like that. Usually if there's some kind of issue with those, you are going to get other codes. Although it is possible that you don't get other codes. There's some different ways to go about troubleshooting this. One method to troubleshoot this would be to remove the spark plugs on bank two and check to see how they're burning and then match them up to an online burn chart. So there's burn charts for the spark plugs on how they're supposed to be burning. For example, if the tip's really white, then that means it's burning lean. And if it's really dark and black, then that means it's running rich. So you can take a look at those spark plugs and check to see if there is a lean condition running on that side of the engine, or if one of the cylinders is just having an issue and it's causing a lean condition. But the next thing that could cause this is that there is some kind of lean running condition on bank two side of the engine. And the last thing on the list that can cause this is some kind of exhaust leak going on, which is letting outside air into the exhaust and just throwing those sensors off. Because if outside air gets into the exhaust, then it can throw those sensors off. They can just be getting bad readings and things like this and just causing issues. So you can go around, check out your exhaust, be sure there's no leaks going on, no damage, nothing like this. Because the last thing on the list is going to be an exhaust leak. And so that's basically it. I just want to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P2098 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.